Gotta catch them all, Pokemon fans. Welcome to another Playscape Games video. And today, it's that wonderful time of the week. It's Poke Post again. Um, it might be backwards because of the camera selfie mode, but um, to stop Ecop, it's to stop Ecop time again. We're very hyped to open this week's mail and see what we've gotten. So let's jump straight into it. So, as you can see here, there's an absolutely towering, massive stack of Poke Posts on the side again. Once again, absolutely crazy week for post. Um, and you can see here, there we go, Pokey Post. It's spelled, um, it's, it's working correctly now. It's the right way around. So, yes, I've also got a little um, thing that I want you to do, guys, for me. Please go to the link in the description. Go to my link tree and check out my Discord server. I'm probably going to do a special little giveaway once we hit 100 members. On the Discord server, we do all sorts of... Um, I do early postings. When I get any PSA cards in, I list them there for the Discord members first to have a chance to purchase. Um, we do tournaments, competitions, there's a buy sell area, all sorts. So please check out the Discord when you get a chance. So as usual with Poke Post, there's a few other random bits turned up earlier. We got um, some nice Salamance VMAXs. Uh, I had to open those because of the packaging. And yes, yeah, Salamance VMAX, there's a new long view scope coming in the future set. So increases the spread damage by 30 to the bench Pokemon if they're using a damage attack. So definitely picking up my Salamance VMAXs now whilst they're still cheap. And this uh, this poor boy here, this, this Fire Red Leaf Green Charizard. So as a PSA 7, it's about £400. But um, this definitely is not going to get a 7, as you can see here. It's been absolutely battered and damaged and tainted but for the price i paid for it i'm just going to send it off hopefully it'll get a psa one and uh maybe someone will send charizard some love who knows who knows <laughs> so let's get straight into pokey post we're gonna no idea what i've ordered once again it's like i just stack the mail up and yes but as we know it's beer mats so it's a lovely nathan who sent these these bits into us so it's probably just going to be lots of cool like tournament playable things um and various other little bits and bobs i've take i've ordered from him so he's a lovely man on the facebook groups he always does good price for modern stuff because he's always opening lots of packs i presume that's how he gets this so i think these will just be full of crowbats we'll take we'll take a quick look i think i've ordered quite a few crowbats and some other other bits from him recently but uh yeah i do not like tape on the top loaders so please if you can guys try to avoid using tape on the top loaders use team bags and stuff so we've got here some more Muse, again, so cheap, I just had to pick those up. They're always going to be popular, those Muse, beautiful artwork. And I think these are just some crow bats, probably. Yep, just a few more bats, we've got plenty, you never have enough bats. And uh, yes, as it's Pokey Post, I think we have to, we're sort of privileged, sort of privileged, we're duty bound, honour bound, to open up all of these beer mat packaged taped top load of things just so you guys can see what we've got on this week because i don't want to don't want to hide anything if possible so yeah this is going to have some beautiful full art crowbats in them and some other things um really we need to be careful with these i don't want to damage them uh yes oh some more charas of these get in there super underrated still very available and they should be all quite easy to get as psa 10s due to the print quality i talk a bit more about the print quality in my most recent like Darkness of Blaze video, I think the um the one talking about like the investment and stuff. So yeah, the Crobat V, absolutely beautiful full art version. This is I think this might be the last one to go into my deck to actually complete um to complete my playset of four full art Crobat Vs for Eternatus. Because I think they're super cheap at the moment. Even if we get a promo box in the future, I don't think the promo box is going to be because if we remember like the Tapu Lele one, that was quite a large collection box um we might get like something like the dedene they might actually put them in like a trainer's toolkit next year the dedene promos with the new artwork but i don't know yet we'll have to see um i imagine that we will get a reprint of crowbat v at some point but probably not anytime soon so i think this might even be the last boss's orders i need to complete my playset as well so we've got some nice other nice cards here beautiful full art rose there um yeah there's all sorts of other stuff sandwiches in here i'm not gonna we've got so many more oh there's a gold turbo patch as well so very take a quick look at those i think i picked up three of these at a really good price because i imagine there's going to be lots of decks that are going to use these in the next three years and i just thought why not now 10 pounds 10 12 pounds each whatever absolute bargain so yes i think there's a couple more turbo patches in there but let's get into the um the random stuff so i think this oh this one's from belgium so let's see what's in here and we got some nice um, dinosaur cookie packaging. It's ma you're making me hungry, guy from Belgium. So, aha. And we got here Snorlax VMAX. So, again, just like with Charizard VMAX from Darkness of Blaze, Snor the, or any VMAX is quite specific. VMAX is quite tough to pull from a booster box. And um, Snorlax 
the uh, Snorlax is obviously a top 10 popular Pokemon, I would say, in the rankings and the power rankings of card purchases and stuff. So, oh, we've got a card here. I'm not sure how well protected it's going to be, but they put it in a nice little Hallmark card envelope. I'd laugh if it was like a birthday card or something, but honestly, I, I don't... I seem to move around so much. I don't think, I think my family or anybody that wanted to send me a birthday card would be um, not being able to find it. My birthday's not until October anyway, so... Aha! Beautiful Intellion VMAX. So, my friend wanted to build that deck, and um, we Intellion VMAX has seen quite a lot of play recently, so very happy to pick up that. And yeah, I've got a nice um, sort of like bubble, uh, not but enough sort of a, like a hard envelope. So, if you're going to be sending cards, guys, please remember to use um, hard envelopes or bubble mailers, um, as well as top loaders if you're sending anything overly, overly valuable. So, this guy is actually the MVP. He or she has put in um, a, a, a bubble mailer inside of a hard envelope, so double the protection. That's what we like to see. And inside, inside a uh... oh, okay, I wasn't expecting that. That's some really good protection inside of like a uh, playmat. I think this is from the Suicune and Pikachu Libre like collectors um, like kits thing. But yeah, Charizard VMAX, print quality on these are so good. I think at the moment there's about 100 PSA 10s and less than 10 PSA 9s, just to how like good the print quality is. So we're going to have a very close look at this. Yeah, front looks good, centering is decent. It's slightly off on the left, it's slightly slight heavy on the left, but I think it should still be within the parameters. Yeah, people emphasize way too much on back cent centering on YouTube channels. I think this has got a good shot at a PSA... PSA 10. Maybe there might be some light scratchings on the on the reverse, just from like being put in sleeves and stuff. But yeah, very happy with that. A nice. I'm gonna put it back into his top loader with a soft sleeve. If you're gonna put um, expensive cards, guys, in sleeve and top loader, make sure you use penny sleeves because these these sleeves can have they got like sharp edges on them. They're quite rigid. So they're not the safest. You're always gonna be safest putting them inside a soft sleeve and top loader. So. First PSA 10 Charizard VMAX I sold went for about £500 on eBay. And um, yeah, I, think I had an auction, but I think I had some shill bidding, so I might have to re relist another one up for auction. So yeah, let's have a look. So we got here a nice Japanese Electrode EX. Absolutely glorious. We do love our Jap Japanese hollows. So we're going to have to take a closer look at that. Let's get onto that. Yeah, hollow looks really nice. Yeah, there's some slight edge wear. There might even be a little micro crease at the top there. I'm not 100% not sure. I'm going to have to take a much closer look at that. But uh, beautiful electro there. Again, Japanese hollows from all the early series. Is very underrated series. 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 From the earlier sets. That's the word we were looking for. <laughs> all the Japanese hollows from the earlier sets. Very, very underrated. Um, but this one, we've got to like cut like multiple times just to get into the centre because they've taken like a larger bubble mailer and they kind of like wrapped it round itself so I'm trying to actually get into its meaty core in the middle right got here a nice so this is what we want to see when we're inside the package team bag so let's hope for some epic in here I'm going to do a reveal at the same time with you guys Oop. aha some more beautiful cards I think I got this as a job lot 20 25 pounds roughly very happy with these. And this is perfect packaging. Look at this lovely person. So if you want to make me really happy, put your cards in pull tabs. Just <laughs> soft sleeve pull tabs. You are amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whoever sent that. I should remember people, more people's names, but I've, my, my, my recognition for people's names that I haven't actually met in real life is often quite difficult. So we're going to actually put, um, we've got some stands there. We'll put the Charizard, the, big, the, the epic stuff can go at the back there. So we've got the beautiful Charizard in the back there. So this one I'm not happy, not overly happy with. So this guy's sent, this is the tiniest little envelope like possible. Um, and it feels, well, if there's a top loader, it's fine. But you really need to, if you're sending things, you really need to be extra careful of, um, yeah, just plain like things. So these top loaders, they may look strong, but it's very easy still to them to get like jammed or crushed and then crack the top loader and then damage the card inside. But very happy though. Should be a couple of lovely more Charizard V's in there. Beautiful artwork. Very, very popular. So as you can see, we barely made an impact on the mountain of things that we've had. So yeah. So we got here some more Intellion V Maxes, I think. 
There's a few cards shoved in there. I'm just going to have a quick look. It should be Intellion V Maxes because it's got the um, Border Force thing in it. It seems like it's probably come from somewhere like Card Market, so it'd probably be multiples of the same cards, but who knows? So let's have a look. Yeah, lots of Intellion V Maxes. Normally, I'm not overly a fan of people shoving all of the same cards in one sleeve but because, like, we're in, inside like one top loader, which quite bad but thankfully this time they've been okay unlike that nine tails v full art we received a few weeks ago so yeah these are playable card tournament cards anyway um, but i suppose people aren't going to know the difference between a playable tournament card so big shout out to the lovely purple shark nl for the for the intellions intellions right we're slowly making our way through this Using doing a bit more surgery here, cutting open this envelope. Right, what have we got here? We've got more tape. Wonderful. And it's masking tape, even better. Oh boy, oh boy. Let's try and release this extra safe. Try and just get in there. That's probably not the safest thing I could have done. Right. Ah, God damn. Tape on top loaders. Please, people, do not do this. Do not be this person. I keep saying every video I need to make the video to tell people, show people the best ways to package cards but it, it never really it never really seems to happen for me i don't think right we're going to make a pause here okay and we're back so all that all this tape was for was just a bit of cardboard to protect the top loader i did say i like having my top loaders protected but <laughs> all that tape just to keep the cardboard on there but beautiful hound doom hollow there from japanese neo dark hound doom from japanese neo 4 so Another lovely card that's probably going to go on the grading path, but we're not going to spend ages looking over conditions of cards in this video because this video is incredibly long. So, right, this person's done quite nice. Um, they can't even tell us what it is. Salamance VMAX. They've even written on it. So, thank you for that. Um, this isn't too bad having the having the uh, tape on top of the cardboard like this, as long as there's not additional tape once we get inside the bubble. Once we get inside the bubble, I'm happy with that. Oh my goodness! It's like getting into Fort Knox sometimes with these with these cards. I swear. Right, should just be a Salamance V Max. Yeah, but that's perfect. Soft sleeve and top loader. No tape on the top loader. Easy release. Thank you very much. That was. Um, that's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. So we've not had anything overly epic apart from that. Uh, Oh, nice, like Japanese tape. I think this, this might. This is definitely a Japanese parcel. Maybe this might be our other EV V Max. I'm not sure. So he said that we don't have anything epic, but we will have to see what's have to see what's in inside this tape. So we need to be extra careful, obviously, because a lot of the Japanese sellers don't use top loaders. They just like to leave cards loosely inside of cardboard. So let's try and get in here without causing too much chaos. All right. Let's see if that helps. And they've taped on the t on the cardboard as well. Ah. I don't think it's the... Oh, I know what this is, guys. I know what this is. I know, no, no, no. Okay, I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to take this behind the camera because I don't want to be stretching over it whilst I, whilst I free these cards, these beautiful cards that I've got in here. So we're just going to very carefully tape them out. And hopefully that everything is still safe inside. God, they put them inside, team, inside a bag, but then with cardboard on... Uh, I don't know. I think sometimes I'm giving mixed messages on how I want my... How I want my post, but like sometimes it's just yeah, I don't know. Right, got it, got it, got it, got it. Right, we have here Shibuya Pokemon promos, Pokemon Center promos from the Japanese Pokemon, the new Pokemon Center in Shibuya that opened, Shibuya that opened last year, and these are in very nice condition. Um, hope well, I haven't looked at the other one, but yeah, everyone loves the. Graffiti Pikachu. These are a PSA 10 are over £100 now. I'm surprised at how quickly they've shot up, but they are very um, They are very popular and you know unique artwork, you know store promos very hard to find Now at these at a reasonable price. But I think you can still pick them up ungraded for like 25 though if you shop around But yeah, there might be a slight micro crease on that one But we'll have to see when I take a closer look. They're probably gonna both go on the grading pile regardless So let's have a look Ah, here we go. Someone's left us a lovely note. Thanks, Stephen. All the best, Sam. So remember, if you guys want to send something to PokePost, place get games at outlook.com. Link in the description. You can contact me through the link tree. 
and uh, yeah, send, send me some shinies or whatever you want to do. <gasps> oh, thank you, Sam. So what we've got here, these these might be some nice things. So we've got here a reverse holo Charizard from Expedition. Has you put tape on here? No, they're just stuck together. And some other and some other hollows. Let's have a look. Oh, up there for a free note. So we've got here some Dragon Frontiers. I think that's like the Mega. I'm not sure where the Meganium's from. I'm very bad of the old sets, but yeah. The unfortunately, there's a few bits. There's a few scratches. You can see like a little scratch at the top there of the Amphros. But just look at that artwork. Absolutely beautiful. And yeah, most of these cards, even if they don't go on the grading part, eventually I'll get more than what I paid for them from Comic Con or you know, single sales from up through other means. Let's have a look at this Charizard though. This is one we care about. Reverse holo Charizard from Expedition. So a few small minor scratches on the front there. But it doesn't look like and it's yeah, the, the, there's lots of edge wear on the corners, but it looks like it's in relatively decent shape. We might be able to swing a PSA seven for this if we're lucky. So yeah, quite happy to see beautiful Charizard there from Expedition. And this Jirachi doesn't look anything special, but this is actually a secret rare Jirachi. As you can see in the bottom there, got um, 97 out of 95. I think this is EX Deoxys. It might be EX Dragon. No, I'm, once again, I'm very bad with the old set numbers. Uh, so we'll get there eventually. This is in good condition. There's a bit of nick in the top, but maybe like a PSA 8 or 9 of a lucky of that. So very, very happy to see the Jirachi. So thank you, Sam, for sending those. Right. God, this part of post is really not decreasing anytime soon right, i'm gonna have to start motoring through these guys because we don't we don't want to be sitting well maybe some of you do might want to be sitting here for 30 minutes but i've got a tournament to play and i stream live on twitch three to four nights a week playing pecgo full guys minecraft hardcore survival so please check it out twitch.tv forward slash playscape games um today we're playing in a tournament uh, okay so it's just another salamance v max you can see that there i'm not gonna not gonna go too crazy with that. Just thought I'd pick up the Salamancers now whilst they're about four pounds each. Because Salamancers is also a top, I wouldn't call it top 10 by any means, maybe like top 20, top 30 popular Pokemon. It's, there's always fans of Salamance. Ooh, so we got this. Some nice, there's so much tape on these top loaders. I'm not gonna get them out now, but you've got the Full Art Gengar Mimikyu and these Full Art promo cards, not the um, tin promos. The tins themselves for the Mew Mewtwo. Are like 50 60 pounds now to so I pick up these promos for around like 10 pounds each very 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 happy with that so getting through the pile um this person did not put the card in the top loader but they were in a bubble mailer so I'm hoping that whatever's inside here is still safe problem is like there doesn't seem to be an easy way or place I can cut into this without damaging the card so I might have just had to make a very small precision precision cut on the top and yeah if we cut into a card, then that's uh, very not good for us. But no, we did not cut into the card, and we were managed. We managed to free it, and we've got here a. <laughs> so that's the meme for today. It's count. Guess how many Salamander V Maxes we're going to end up with. There might have been more in one in one of those other things that I didn't get to open pro properly, but yeah. Okay, so half of these po the post this week just seems to be Salamander orientated. And yeah, the Salamance Vs, they were £2 each, so why not? Worst comes to the worst, I bolt them out at 150 down the line, but I'm sure I'd, that won't need to happen. So we got here, um, quite a thick envelope. So a nice nice big thick envelope, that's really like, you know, hard envelope, that's what we want to see. And there is all this paper, so let's have a look at this. Someone's just left us a little note, let's see what the note says. Ah, from Noah. Thank you so much, Noah. So I bought some cards from the lovely Noah, and um, let's see what's inside here. So yeah, the thick envelope. So hopefully, even without top loaders, these cards should still. They are in. They are in top loaders. Good news, everyone. So let's see what's inside here. But fortunately, they're taped inside. No, we're never good. Free. We've got a nice rainbow rare Silvalli, popular Pokemon. Um, it's got Gladion in the, in the image as well. Beautiful full art Marnie. That might be the last one I need for my playset. I'm not sure. And quickly rip into these ones. Beautiful gold Zashin. So these are getting slightly more expensive. Um, because we got Rebel Clash and the two pack blisters with Darkness Ablaze. 
uh, less people seem to be opening sword and shield packs at the moment. You still get them quite cheap in some of the like tins, I think. Like some of this, they're still in some of the tins. But let's see if this is in better condition than that one we received the other week. Yeah, can't see any obvious damages or bends or tears. Slightly off centered on the left, but not too much. Beautiful gold doggo there. Very happy with a gold doggo. So Pikachu, you're going to be re relegated for now. Uh, I do love you, Pikachu, but we're going to put the most flexy sort of that. Good, goodness sake, Charizard. Stay up. You've, you've got one job, and you just have to stay on the on the stand. Problem is, it's in a top loader as well. <laughs> and we're just, like, wasting even more time on a video that's really long. There we go. Two beautiful cards. But let's keep motoring through these. Once again, thank you to this person for sending in a card envelope. And But we got cardboard, so... Let's see if we can safely get in here without damaging the cards. I'm just going to do some more precision surgery on the top of the, to try and get the, some of the tape off and reveal the cards. I'm not really, I'm not, I swear you guys, there's not like a big pile of salamancers. That is, that is actually like what's in there. <laughs> it's more, more and more salamancers. I think I might have gone a bit overboard with the long view scope hype, but. I, yeah, and this guy, thank you so much for the pull tabs, but then they put tape on it as well, so it was you went so close, you nearly got there, you nearly got there, <laughs> into the on V-Maxes, good deck, good deck, right, nice big, thick bubble mailer here, what is going to be inside this one, let's have a look, so not as many like epic old cards or hollows this week, but lots of cool tournament cards, lots of interesting random things, and yes, what's what we're going to have in post post this week? So let's have a look. Big stack of cards, zigzagoons, scoop up nets. Yeah, buddy. Already, there is already up to one dot one euro fifty each. Um, I don't think we're going to get many. That, that league battle deck's probably not going to have scoop up nets in it. So like, there's a Zashin one. There is a Zashin V with the ADP league battle deck, guys. So if you want to pre-order that, head to my website placegetgames.com. That's going to be very hype. It's coming out in November. I didn't think, oh, there was one more card from Noah that I forgot to open earlier. Snorlax VMAX. Good news, good news. Lots of awesome cards to get graded. So we've got a massive like, stack of random things just behind the camera. You can't see. There goes my water. So yeah, lovely hard envelope. Thank you, whoever sent this. And perfect. Lots more Salamancers. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Salamance for days. Salamance for days. Right, at least I have enough to build a deck now. <laughs> Just barely, barely have enough Salamancers to build a deck. Ooh, okay, something a bit more interesting, finally. we got here two OG Hollows. We've got another Dark Houndoom. We actually had the Dark Houndoom earlier. And we got the beautiful Sloking. And you can actually see here, guys, there's a little swell in the top left-hand corner there. Nice little Hollow Swell. They're much more, the Hollow Swells are much more common on the older Japanese hollows than they are on the older English hollows but it was always still nice to see them. We're not going to increase the value on the Japanese hollows that much but if you see any older ones. Ah! I didn't realise. Yes, lovely Red Heart Games. Big shout out to those lovely people. And there should be more some more Salamancers. Oh, it's just one Salamance. But more Salamancers are still a good thing. Thank you so much Georgie and Ben. Lovely people. Right. So let's go to. I'm going to save the Japanese box for later. Big Japanese box, because um, that's going to be require a little bit more effort to get into. And it might be something more epic in that one than potentially these other ones. But there's always epic poker plays. Even a Salamance to me is epic. The word epic might not be overused sometimes. When it comes to getting Salamance V or more Intellions, <laughs> it's a good thing. It's definitely a good thing. Right. Okay, so let's go for this one, bubble, big bubble mailer, and ooh, CD promos. So, very excited about this. I got this on an eBay auction. This should be a whole bunch of beautiful CD promos. I'm going to try not to damage the cards too much by taking the tape off the top loaders. And, uh, okay, so we've got a nice Arcanine there. So, in Japan, they gave, like, a, a learn-to-play CD in a game, I think, or something. And you got these exclusive, like, promos with them. They got re Most of them got re-released in English. We didn't get this one in English, I don't think. This is, like, classic Ken Sugimori, like, Mewtwo 
and yeah these both seem to be in decent condition there's a little there's a bit of scratching on this but you got the, the mew the glossy mew the glossy mew too and the coup de gras cd promo snorlax and hopefully um the porygon whoa look at that beautiful so we didn't get this snorlax in english i think this porygon was a promo in english but yeah, both of them seem to be in really nice condition. Um, a PSA 10 of the Snorlax sold the other day for £120. Probably won't get PSA 10, but if these come back 9s, um, very happy with that. So beautiful, beautiful CD promos. So those are CD promos, but also the ones with the Charizard, Venusaur and Blastoise. Very, very beautiful cards. Another... Intellion. I think we have enough now. I, I think I didn't have enough, so I ordered more, and then like, yeah, they just kept flooding. Literally flood. Intellion, flood. Get it? Get it? Right. Okay. More Charizard Vs. Um, more Charizard V cards. Cup might be like one or two in there. Right, we're at the home stretch now. This is the most epic, longest Poke post I think we've had in a while. I think I say every week like this is going to be the longest Poke post, but then like. I, I just get out of those. The problem is it's all these salamancers trying to get trying to get into these packages just to find salamancers. If I if I had a way of like X-raying my post, I could probably remove like most of these things. Oh, beautiful Sizor from Neo number two, Japanese Neo two, and that looks in really good condition at a glance. So very happy with that. Right, last. English pokey post before we get to the Japanese one. Nice huge bubble mailer. I wonder what's in here actually. I have no idea what's in here. Let's have a look. <gasps> oh my goodness guys, this is what I was waiting for the whole time. Oh my goodness, right. Prepare to be overwhelmed. So we got here Rocket Cypher. PSA 7 or 8, maybe. Nice misty. Probably a seven or eight there. OG Venusaur, that's going to be in horrible condition, but it's still worth getting graded. Erica's Vile Plume, first edition. Gotta love these old hollows. It's probably like a seven. I'm not sure about it. We'll get that graded one just to have to see. It's still a first edition card, probably will. Lovely Rockets Moltres, seven, maybe a seven there. Beautiful Brock's Rhydon. Uh, excellent to near mints. Rockets Trap. Uh, Excellent to near mint again. Erica's Dragonair, lightly played. And a nice Brox Hollow with a, with a swell. Look, there's a swell that we spotted an English swell on the left there. Beautiful. Beautiful cards. Thank you for that lovely person who sent that. So that was a nice way to finish the English post. But now we've got the box, the coup de gras. Um, this time there will be no bonus videos because I've actually remembered to include everything in the... I've actually remembered to include everything in the video this time. Last time I was, I had to keep making little bonus videos. I think we had two bonus videos last time. So I'm just going to tear into this box because it's not, this doesn't seem to be an easy way into it. Okay. Oh, guys. Yes, yes, yes. I can see it through the packaging. I can see, let's just see it. Can you spot, can you spot the floof? Can you spot the floof? I can spot the floof. And whoever this is, they've done it, they packaged this so well. They put it in, they put one single card in a bloody small envelope oh my god in a giant top loader <laughs> oh my goodness EVV max we got another one and the exclusive EVV um, starter deck promo to go it's the EV regular EV beautiful EV promo to go with the V max so we're gonna have a look at the V max closer just to see the condition on this because these are shot up again mm, it looks the edges look quite serrated um, not serrated but they look a bit jaggedy this, and yes, maybe some slight wear and tear, but this this should get a PSA 9. Not sure about, just look at that glorious boy or girl. Not sure about uh, PSA 10, but absolutely beautiful. We get a nice EVV right at the end there. So, lots of Pokey posts. Obviously, the three highlights have to be the Charizard VMAX, the EV VMAX, and the Zashin V Gold card. Three beautiful cards that are definitely going on the grading pile this week. So yeah, thank you very much for watching the Pokey Post video. It's been absolutely epic. Another long video, but I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to head to my Discord server. Link in the description if you want to support us on Discord. Join the chat. Um, chat to me. Ask me questions there. Always happy to answer. And yes, please click that subscribe button. Ding the bell. Getting very close to a thousand subscribers now. 
and I'll see you soon, Pokemon fans. Gotta catch them all. Remember, guys, once we get to 1,000 subscribers, we'll be giving away this beautiful Blastoise and Piplup GX Rainbow Rare card from Cosmic Eclipse. As you can see, it's an absolute beauty. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're getting very close now, and one of you lovely people will win this gorgeous card. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Gotta catch them all.